in real life now. Yeah. So, hello everyone. This is Seema on behalf of Jashni Man Management and Promoters. I would like to welcome you all for another book launch of Neelam Saxena Chandra. And uh, I'm so glad to let you know that today we are launching her. I think this is her sixth uh six or seven novel she will tell us better uh it's karmic threads uh, so let me introduce uh, her as well uh, so neelam saxena chandra uh, is has authored six novels one novella eight short story collection 36 poetry collection 14 children books she is a bilingual author writing in english and hindi more than 2,000 of her poem stories have been published in various international and national journals, anthologies, magazines. She holds a record with the Limca Book of Record 2015 for being the author having highest number of publications in year and in English and Hindi. She has won several national and international awards. She was listed in Forbes as one of the most popular 78 authors in 2014. When she is not working or writing, she loves a game of table tennis, ordering, acting, working, besides large rows of laughter. So welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, Seema, for your kind in introduction. So yes, this is my seventh book. And though I don't believe, but seven is supposed to be a lucky number. <laughs> <laughs> So before going to the book, let me introduce uh, Rupali ma'am. Uh, so Dr. Rupali Sirka Gaur, PhD, is a bi bilingual poet, performer, writer, environmentalist, and social justice activist. Rupali ji taught English at Delhi University in India. A widely published poet, she has edited four volumes of poetry. Rupali ji's poems have been translated into Hindi, Bangla, and Telugu. She has edited a number of prominent international anthologies, the la latest being The Force With Us, an international anthology celebrating the armed forces. So welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much, Seema. And thank you, Neelam, for inviting me and giving me this honor to talk about your book. You know, it's entirely book, my pleasure. You know, when a book is produced, uh, you know, Goddess Saraswati really descends upon you. And you are a prolific writer. And um, it was a pleasure reading your book. You know, when I received, I, I, when I said, would you uh, like to read the book? I said, definitely. And Karmic Threads, I thought it could be a supernatural story or something like that, you know. But I was very pleasantly surprised. It's a very interesting book, you know, normally what happens is because a lot of people send us books to review, to read, and you, you know, and you read a part of it, then you leave it, you know, and you pick it up. Believe me that I read it from the first page, I just couldn't put it down, because you begin with uh, very startling, uh, and you know, stark, uh, you know, scenario. And which sort of created such an interest. And, and what should a book do? A book should actually create interest. You know, you read the first chapter, the first line, and it should create an interest in you to continue reading. I just kept wanting to know what character after character kept popping up. And I wanted to know more about them, more about them. And, uh, you know, you have dedicated your book uh, to all those people who, women, who have been abused, you know, who have been put into suffering and pain. And marriage is central to your book. You know, marriage is central to your book because marriage is central to the Indian ethos. You know, and then as I read the book and I completed it, I thought this could make a very good film. You know, it could make a wonderful film. And then today I noticed and I read that Melinda is a filmmaker. And I, I read this book and I said, Oh my God, I would probably make a film out of this because it has everything. It has men, it has women, it has sorrow, tragedy, happiness, love, all the things that uh, the human beings long for. And the suffering that the young girl Monica goes through is very, very common. It's very common. You know, I used to work with a women's development center in the university. And I went to the 
like to go to the courtroom with women, uh, just so that you know they are uh, sort of sensitized to being in a courtroom. And I found a number of women from all, uh, you know, couples from all uh, socio-cultural backgrounds, you know, uh, who were there. And the marriage was, uh, you know, breaking up. And so this is so central to our concern, you know, when we marry our daughters, you know, where they're going, especially when they go abroad. And we all know there's a racket. There's a huge racket of marrying Indian girls, taking them abroad, the dowry, for example. So everything, the book is, you know, contains um, so much. And it also contains relationships uh, which are very beautiful. You know, the love relationship, where the where they relationship is not nice, uh, that is there. But then it is not a sad or a black uh, story. There are beautiful relationships. And those of us uh, who have known love, who have experienced love, there is nothing better than the love between a man and a woman. You know, it is, uh, it's a thank divine you. thing. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Rupali, ma'am. We'll continue this discussion. And uh, before that, I would like to introduce uh, Rashmi Singh Ji here and uh, Uike sir as well, so that we can, you know, uh, yeah, create yeah. a moment of launch and then uh, we can start discussion as well. Okay. I'm so sorry to, you know, <laughs> break your <laughs> thoughts in between. So uh, let me introduce Rashmi, ma'am. Rashmi Singh Ji served as Executive Director, National Mission for Empowerment of Women at the Ministry of Women and Child Development, Government of India. Also, she was holding the additional charge of a Special Secretary and Director, Social Welfare, Government of Delhi. She received Sri Shakti Samman 2010 and Leadership Award in USA. Rashmi Singh has been appointed as Commissioner of State Taxes for the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Welcome, ma'am. Maybe I missed something from your, uh, you Thank know, bio. You. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. So before starting the discussion, let me introduce Milind Uike, sir. And uh, uh, so welcome, sir. And uh, Milind Uike is an Indian film director. He made his debut with the film Desh Devi 2002. He did other movies like Hanuman 2005, Hamne Jina Seekh Liya. Uh, 2007, Get Educated, Part Shala 2010, Dehradun Diary 2013, and uh, Ranveer, um, The Marshall 2015. His 2018 release includes Sobat, Lagito Chagi, and Monsoon Football. So, welcome, sir. Thank you so much. Great pleasure. Uh, so it's a very proud moment and feel so glad to have such eminent guests at this uh, panel today. And uh, with this, I would like to request all of you, if you are having the physical copies of the book, then please hold and let's create a moment of book launch. Uh, you can just show it on the screen. Many, many congratulations, ma'am. Thank you. Well, Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, very first, let me start with Neelam Saxena, ma'am. So, what would you like to tell us about your book? Thank you, dear Seema. So dear Milan, Rashmi, Rupali ji, Seema, and all our dear viewers, it is my pleasure and pride to have your esteemed presence during the book launch of Karmic Threads. My warm gratitude to the people who have been reading my books. It's your encouragement that keeps me going. I've always been touched with the social issues right since childhood. And during a visit to Paris, way back in 2008, on a whirlwind tour, I was standing in the queue to get inside the Tower when I saw a few ladies selling mem mementos of Eiffel Tower and other important tourist destinations in Paris. Amongst those ladies, I heard a few of them speak Hindi. Initially, that made me aghast. And I was about to utter these dash dash Indians, they spoil our names. However, 
I soon learned that quite a few of them are left as a destitute in a foreign land without even a passport. So they can neither escape nor survive. Most of these women are educated ones and dowry is always a reason for marriage. So I tried to weave a story around the theme to attract the attention of people on the sensitive issue. There are various layers in this novel and treachery, murder, stealth, friendship and love are all a part of it. However, it is finally karma that wins. I won't reveal much since that would take away the fun of reading. But yes, let me read out a para or two for our viewers. However, before that, I would like to thank Prabhat Prakashan for publishing the book. This is my second book uh, with the publisher. Uh, as you can see, uh, it shows uh, my first book with them. This was also a novel. This is titled Stella, and this is about an unwed mother. Again, a, a gender issue. So, and it did uh, pretty well. So, and what a superb job they've done. Look at the cover page. You know, can you see this man uh, lying here on a cot? There's a story behind it too. And you'll have to read the novel to find out. I love the cover page in the first glance. <laughs> I would like to thank my dear friend Raksha Hegde, who is the editor of not only this book, but my several other English books. She's a close friend too. I would also like to thank Dr. Maitri Joshi and Meera Bhansari for being the first readers of this novel. They gave me wonderful suggestions. And of of course, my deep gratitude to my dear friends uh, who are here on the uh, stage, we could say, of online stage. Uh, Milan, who, uh, you know, uh, uh, very few of us from our engineering college uh, engaged in arts field, and uh, Milan being one of them has been a uh, part of launches of at least four or five of my books. One yeah, offline, yeah. one offline, I think that was in 2014 in Mumbai only, and now I'm in Mumbai. And uh, so we'll have many more. And uh, I think two or three online book launches also. So the offline was in Kitab Khana, and I remember so wonderful. Yeah, Kitab yeah, Khana. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that was so much fun. And uh, Rashmi, whom I met uh, in Delhi uh, two or three times, and it was always such a wonderful interaction, and we could feel our vibes, uh, you know, synchronizing. And Rupali ji, whom I'm yet to meet, but I'm looking forward to meet soon, because uh, we've grown very close in the last few months. And of course, Seema who's been my pal since long, uh, even before I think she started uh, her career in this field of literature. So thank you, everybody. And uh, let me read uh, some part uh, from this book. OK. Shipra had seen Monica and Gurpreet kissing each other. She went home and shouted at her mother. What sort of a mom you are? You always side with Monica for everything, though it is me who is your real daughter. Do you like me even a bit? You always have problems with my boyfriends, don't you? What about Monica? You don't have any issues with her, isn't it? Her mother asked. What about her? Why are you always so jealous of her? After all, she's your elder sister. And remember, we are staying in a house rightfully owned by her. She replied, she's having a night affair with the Sardar. I saw them going cozy in the Mercedes. Now I'm waiting to see what your reaction will be and what you say to her. Her mother kept quiet at that moment. But as soon as her husband came, she informed him and added, all our plans shall go haywire 
if Monica gets married to someone in Patiala, she and her husband will take control of the entire business and all her efforts of so many years will be a sheer waste. I've disregarded Shipra so much just because we can finally get what we want. She's always upset with me. And yet, I can't explain anything to her so, since you have bound me from doing it. And now the shit, my head is bursting. Don't worry, dear. Where there's a will, there's a way. I had been looking for a proposal from outside the country for Monica since long. Only today I received a call from someone who's working with a big multinational in France and has come to India in search of a bride. At that time I was in a meeting and had not talked much. Let me call him up. And you will not discuss anything with Shipra. Understand? So this was a part uh, of the chapter, The Struggle Begins. Uh, thank you so much. It's really very interviewing uh, part, what you have read, ma'am. And uh, I'm so eager to read the complete book. And so are the uh, readers. So, And if you have anything to tell us, then uh, please tell us more about your book. Then we can move on to Rupal. <laughs> no, nothing much. Uh, the first thing that uh, those pictures that remained embedded in my mind were uh, of Eiffel Tower. Then there's another uh, metro station, Shekley. So when I was uh, sitting there and it had so many levels, that I was so confused and actually my husband asked me to wait and I was just wondering what happens to someone who gets lost in such a vast station. So these were the two initiating points that made me write this novel. You know, sometimes uh, small things make you write uh, a big uh, novel or a story or whatever. So these were the two initial things uh, that I started with. And uh, this novel is right in front of you. It's really wonderful. And uh, I am sure my uh, story is also a wonderful one. And the uh, cover seems very interesting. Like it itself says some story, you know. Uh, so let's move Thank to you. Rupali, ma'am. Ma'am, definitely you must be having something to tell us about the book. So please, I request you to tell us something about the book you want me to speak yes ma'am okay yeah I, I said a lot right in the beginning i think i just said <laughs> sorry i you know began the thing because i set the note for the book, for the book without realizing it but you know i i must point out something that you know because you just read uh, milam you read that part where the uh, the real children, the biological children come and start quarreling with the mother, isn't it? And uh, there is there's somewhere in the book where uh, you have given a bit of humanity to even the worst creature. You know, even the worst of characters have got, uh, you know, uh, something that redeems them. And one of them is this uh, uh, Chachi. Uh, it's a Chachi, isn't it? And she is also part, she's also siding with her husband, like all wives end up siding with the husband, uh, wicked husband. But somewhere in her heart, uh, she has actually grown to love uh, and care for Monica. And that yeah, is yeah. noticed, that is noticed by the daughter. Because who more can understand than, you know, the, the biological daughter. And the, these little things that I noticed in your book, this giving this humanity to people, even uh, uh, Reshma's sister, who was rude and mean, you know, she turns into a nice, she actually becomes her helpmate in Paris. And her husband, Shekhar, you know, that, that's, you know, this, the platonic relationship between men and women, you know, a relationship which is, has nothing to do with sex. You know, when people used to ask me, yeah, aapke friend hai, if it was a male friend, aapke friend hai, ki aapke husband ke friend hai. And I'd say, yeah, mera friend hai. And they would look at me very suspiciously. But the fact <laughs> that we can be, 
friendship. So you know, with the, uh, when we're celebrating Friendship Day, we talk about friends. You and I have become friends on Facebook, and friendship has something to do with the heart. You know, it is not something, and you have picked up the very small little things that are very, very human, very humane. And I think that is if those who read it can uh, can respect that and understand that. So I think I, that would be my comments, and I will give it to somebody else to talk. Thank you so much for your in-depth analysis and reading it uh, so minutely. Thank you. Seema, your mic is off. Seema, you are on mute. So sorry. So sorry. I didn't <laughs> see that. Uh, so uh, thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, let's move to Rashmi, ma'am. I request her to please tell us something about the book if she has read. OK. So here, uh, first of all, I would like to compliment Neelam Saxenaji for you know, writing this book, which has been, you know, like a very, very memorable reading for me, I must say. You know, because uh, I was actually reading a fiction out here after a very, very long time. And thinking that, yeah, you know, fiction is normally a waste of time. You know, that's been my perception. Because I have largely been into, as Neelam Lee said, that into women's issues, looking at social sector themes, governance reforms. And here was this book which was, you know, sent to me by Neelam Ji, arriving at Masuri while I'm doing a course, you know, talking about lots of policies reform, you know, which is uh, the Lal Bahadur Shastri Academy. And amidst the various kinds of uh, you know, issues and uh, policies and schemes, programs of the government that we have been debating about, we have been deliberating on. You know, here I get this book where I thought that maybe, you know, if I have the time, I'll go through it. Otherwise, maybe a few pages to discover what it is all about. But let me confess that the moment I started reading it, there was no stopping me. And there was no way that one could leave out a single page. Why? Because, you know, every page, you know, kind of challenged you to look beyond and see what happens next. You know, to discover more and more about the characters which kept coming your way. To discover more about what Monica, you know, the main character, is going to fare in her life ahead. And while I kept reading it as a fiction, I realized that there were so many social issues which the author has very successfully brought in in a very live manner, in a manner in which you know each reader will get emotionally involved, not with, just with the character, but with the issue at hand. And that is what I think is the success of any book which is so gripping, you know, that it leaves an imprint on you. It leaves you, you know, into uh, entering the kind of footsteps of the character, you know, to feel the emotions which the person is going through and which I felt. I felt about Monica, you know, the main character, about the whole journey which she has been undergoing in her life, you know, at a time when, uh, probably, uh, you know, she was as a character shown to be somebody who's trusting life, who's like learned not to question things, who's learned to be, you know, a woman who has to make all kinds of sacrifices. You know, those were the kind of conditioning and the stereotypes which she has seen around. And uh, to, to find her own identity the kind of experiences that she goes through, you know, that would have left anybody in a position in which she could either crack or make it. But this character does not crack. And ultimately, she's the one who is able to, you know, not only find her own identity, but also be able to decide 
you know, what she wants in her life, to be able to look at various options that he, she has and then make a very, very conscious choice, which she had denied herself. Because uh, so we see the kind of transition which is happening in the life of this central character, which I felt that for so many women, you know, this would be something very, very true, that they really, you know, go through a lot of struggle trying to discover what they are, what they want, and ultimately, whether they are in a position to get what they want, even if they know what they want. And here, the kind of, you know, I think the social milieu around her, the kind of ecosystem around her, the kind of people around her, you know, also really symbolizes, you know, what it would mean for a woman to really be able to, you know, take to her calling. What I mean is that the kind of uh, ultimately the social capital which Monica finds, you know, say in her friend Reshma, say in Rupam, say in, you know, Rupam's husband, say in her friend Gurpreet. So somewhere each of them are giving her some hope. Each of them are, you know, somewhere playing that role where every woman, you know, goes through that challenge where you know, there are transition in which you need to recognize that there are people out there, you know, who are not evil. Because what Monica faced in her life was deceit. What she faced in her life was treachery, you know, by people who were so near and dear to her, so close to her within the family. You know, not just the person whom she married, but even before that, her own uncle, whom she treated as a father. So on the one hand, she's going through a phase where... You know, it is possible where uh, you don't trust anyone. But ultimately, it is also important that you do recognize that everybody out there is not someone, you know, who would be like another, you know, evil force, which her, you know, so-called husband symbolized. So I think women need to speak out. That is another thing which I found that, you know, in a character of Monica, where initially... You know, at the time when I think one day, you know, she didn't know, know what to do, where she's sitting there, you know, near the Eiffel Tower, she's sitting in the park, you know, not being able to actually, you know, think about any source of help. And then suddenly, you know, she remembers that there was this girl, you know, maybe there were differences with her, you know, at some point of time, but maybe she can go back to her. She tried that and that worked wonder. But at the same time, you know, she's shown to be a person who's so strong that at a time when another character comes into her life, which was, I think, a professor, I don't have the book right in front of me, but, you know, not the name, but this man, you know, who is ready to offer all kinds of support, you know, including the kind of bonding, you know, for her life, which she probably needed at that time. At the same time, she's able to make a conscious choice. No, you know, probably she's she doesn't want to take up the easy options. You know, maybe she's not in a hurry anymore. You know, she's, she knows whom to trust. But at the same time, she knows the level, you know, to which she's going to depend upon anyone. So the kind of changes, you know, which she's going through in her, in her life is something which I feel that, you know, has lot of, lot of lessons which are coming out, you know, from one life story. Uh, then other things which I feel is very important for me to talk about, you know, is the fact that the overseas paradigm, which the paradoxes which are seen that, yeah, you know, in you're going, uh, you know, what Monica goes through, a character faking an identity. And at the same time, you know, making sure that a person like Monica is deprived of her own identity. He doesn't let her talk to anyone. You know, he, he tries to, you know, keep her captive in an environment in which, you know, she has nobody other than this guy who's supposed to be a husband to depend upon. So I think it is very, very important again for women, educated women, you know, to know that yeah, they need to have the right sources, the right channels, equip themselves and not blindly trust people, no matter who that person is, especially 
if they are getting married to somebody you know whose credentials are not really known so there i felt that yeah you know again like a many girls in small town you know would be duped into such marriages you know they would not have any idea about the kind of you know the acts and rules which you know actually are there the overseas ministry which is there the indian missions which are there but how do you reach out to them so you know there are not many who might be as educated as monica but monica this character despite her education you know because of her conditioning was somebody who was taught not to question somebody who was taught that the husband is the supremo you know whom she has to love and respect and no matter what it is not to have any doubts so that is you know something where we need to start questioning where women need to start questioning and where women need to tell others you know because this is something which needs social awareness because there are like you know as neelam ji rightly said as she went to paris and she saw you know some of the girls some of the women who have faced similar experiences who have been deserted so it's not a question of one monica there are many monicas which are already out there and many monicas you know who today you know would be in a position where more of social awareness can prevent that situation to happen because i'm not sure whether everybody can really you know kind of take these kinds of adverse situations and yet be able to emerge as strong as monica did and for that i really compliment you neelam ji because towards the end we did really didn't know what to expect you know here was this woman who has made a tough choice she's ready to go back she's ready to leave her life you know all by herself but then the last week suddenly she comes back so i was personally very happy happy that she has found her love she's going to stay with her love she's going to stay with like you know i mean blissfully in a state where probably she wanted to deny herself you know that pleasure because see she really doesn't know whom to you know whether uh, she's entitled to any kind of pleasure now yet she turns back so again you know women not to always feel that if they have gone through adverse situation in life it means that they have to be in a denial mode no things will change things will change for the better you have to make a choice and which monica did so again i compliment you you know for that last one bit where i personally felt really happy you know about the conclusion thank you that's really very very wonderful abrupt of the book i think uh, you have take, taken out rashmi ma'am so let neela ma'am tell us <laughs> what she felt uh, i was on mute and i was going on speaking <laughs> so, you know, uh, rashmi people do say that there's a difference between fiction and non fiction but i feel that uh, both complement each other in a way and uh, in fiction normally uh, people like us are talking about issues uh, but weaving the story around it to generate more interest that's it so you know you have changed my perception i i told you that it's like yeah kind of because i was not reading something for entertainment sake you know i felt that i kept discovering more and more delving more and more you know i mean deeper into not just the issues but solutions also which emerges you know as you go through it thank you so much thank you so much that you liked my book and thank you that you started reading and i'm sure that you'll remember me whenever you read your next fiction thank you no i'm waiting to read your like very next and i'm sure that yeah you know once anybody reads your book you know the kind of descriptions you know every page was live and that's what i felt that yeah the way you describe a scenario the way you describe character the way you describe emotions you know so i think that's really wonderful and uh, i really feel that uh, you know you can uh, bring out the most complex issues you know with a kind of simplicity in which people can imbibe things better i'm sure you like this book also stella i'm going to do it now absolutely <laughs>
ट्रूली सैड रश्मि मैम नीलम मैम ऑलवेज ब्रिंग आउट यू नो थॉट प्रोवोकिंग स्टोरीज एंड इन वेरी सिंपल मैनर यू नो यूल फाइंड इन सो मैनी यू नो इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक यू नो दिस बुक सीन्स लाइक ए काइंड ऑफ वेमेन एम्पावरमेंट book and in very simple manner so next let's go to hindu ke sir me i just wanted to tell rashmi one there are four or five of my books in lbs and nene a library oh, oh wonderful yeah. yeah so i'm going to check out tomorrow tomorrow i'm going to check it out <laughs> personally yeah absolutely <laughs> it will be a pleasure really thank That's you thank you that's really wonderful ma'am and so let's go to milindu ike sir and i'm sure he is also having some you know beautiful thoughts on the book yeah so uh, i have a very busy week uh, you know i've been for many many things that, you know i do i do some attend lectures and to write so i could not read the book more than 3 4 chapters but definitely i agree with whatever i read uh, uh, with the uh, rashmi that uh, the from the outset the book uh, has something particularly the one issue which you know many people doesn't know uh, about what the women who go to abroad are married you know and the thing that they, they, there is a heaven for them there was one film long back uh, had come the film I think your voice is breaking, Milan. Sorry, your voice is breaking. Is voice my... is breaking, sir. Maybe network yes. issue or something. Please ah. check. You can come nearer to the um, laptop or mobile, whatever you are. Maybe some connection issue. I think it's. But false. is it now? Is it now okay? Now I change the connection. Now I am going. Yes. To... Yes. Yeah, yeah. No. So yeah. I was telling that this uh, uh, because I read two chapters setting of the film uh, for the novel only. So what I was feeling the two couple of things like uh, first is this issue of you know uh, the, the 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 middle class or lower middle class uh, women are married to so called you know uh, the capable people in an area which are really really very attractive uh, for uh, proposition for the girls to get married of or. Get rid of. That's how I think I see the marriages. Many marriages are to get rid of the uh, girls. You know, so they become such a tragic uh, situation. But then, as uh, you know, uh, the novel, which is uh, I just the brief that how there is a fight back for this, and that also the foreign country where you don't have the support is really really amazing. Uh, you know, story of a valor. I'm definitely going to explore that. But few things which uh, really I want to uh, you know talk about is like. Uh, how the stories are made you know the genesis i mean the way uh, neelam has thought of the story while sitting in front of the eiffel tower and uh, then the these women destitute women's uh, stories about how they were abandoned by the husbands and then that the metro station you know the maze of the life you know uh, you know up and down left and right so uh, the maze of uh, metro station which i i had not been to uh, to paris but i have been to singapore where i found a similar maze in one of the uh, you know uh, uh, dhobi ghat station or something you know uh, and it has a similar maze of four five layers and so many complexity that one get lost so that is the uh, kind of a symbolic uh, uh, you know setting of a life which she goes through like that metro station and uh, the eiffel tower which is tall like a courage you know and uh, of course uh, the rest of the story which happens with the courage and valor of women of to fight back uh, you know and the finally the spiritual aspect the karmic uh, you know connect uh, you know which which uh, you know comes back to you uh, or uh, if there is something really good and uh, you know something really profound inside you uh, then you will be definitely protected you know and you will be always uh, uh, you know handsomely rewarded for uh, that goodness in you so that faith that hope you know really really uh, most important part of the human life so i think uh, all these factors around which uh, you know nilam has uh, uh, you know uh, written uh, this novel is definitely makes it very profound and uh, the previous uh, books i have uh, many of them uh, like this one signs of the time and you know uh, the soul makes seekers and all and the poetry book last that we uh, has inauguration 
uh, and the of course the the, the another book uh, the chiseled world yeah that is also with me so uh, what i feel that the uh, fiction uh, rashmi ji uh, brings uh, the inner layers of uh, of course the kind of uh, field you are into the, the women empowerment so many stories i mean you know uh, very unheard stories very uh, you know a uh, lot of pathos and tragedies but uh, you know a lot of people may not uh, reach out uh, or understand or uh, connect uh, you know because a uh, lot of people may not like the uh, uh, bare realities so it's a fiction which takes you smoothly into the journey of those tragedies you know and before you even uh, you know realize uh, you know in the journey of the fiction that you are actually uh, made to feel made to uh, you know empathize with the uh, the problems of uh, you know those character those situation those women which is uh, is a uh, the victory of uh, fiction which nilam has achieved uh, definitely in all her books so that's why fiction is so important you know as a film maker i know so uh, my my film uh, monsoon football is about you know i just saw one photograph uh, of a, a woman playing a sari uh, in the in the mud in the in the ground Uh, in the sari she is playing a football with the sneakers so this is a one single photograph and i was wondering how come this woman in sari is playing football in monsoon uh, what her husband would have said to her what her children her neighbor would have said and then i went into the thing and i realized that uh, this there is a this is a tremendous trauma to the married women who who uh, you know forsake their career for sake of the children for the marriage and after few years they regret about it because uh, they really feel trapped uh, into that so i picked up uh, you know such seven stories uh, and uh, you know uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, own it together in this film called monsoon football and then you will see that uh, you know a lot of women will be able to relate and probably this issue uh, not been brought in the uh, you know non fiction terms or the any other terms and probably my film will bring uh, you know as a fiction of course uh this part of where women take a choice between the career and the family you know i'm not saying that uh, any of them is uh, you know wrong or right that not decision i'm not taking but the problem is that uh the women uh, if regrets after 10 or 15 years then the choice was wrong you know so that is my point of the film so fictions are very important and thank you so much nilam you brings uh, uh, the real life stories and uh, the problems through such a wonderful and simplified books that it reach to so many people and people can understand uh, the problems and, and tragedies of other people which they might have not experienced but they will understand better so thank you so much uh, being a part of uh, you know this uh, Uh, you know you know inauguration of your book and i am always in depth uh, that i part of the such literary journey I, I, uh, you know as a week i really feel happy thank you so much thank you so much sir i just wanted you to be there because you know uh, it's not only females who empathize with the uh, female empowerment movement it's also male and your monkey football was uh, the film Uh, that i saw and i felt that you should be a part of this piece so yeah, thank, thank you so much for agreeing to be a part of it thank you thank you that was really uh, like a uh, wonderful uh, like how he has explained us like he has also related his movie uh, to like you know how fictions you know work and they show actually we call them fiction but actually the they show us the real face of a society and you know through the the stories and uh, such are nilam ma'am's book where we can see you know reality of our, you know social issues through you know fictional stories and uh, i'm so glad to tell you that book is really doing so well and again today it's like for last uh, since last week book is under best seller and uh, it's uh, under it's uh, in under 10 hot best sellers wow. hot sales of the book and even today it's uh, on number 10 <laughs> so congratulations ma'am that book is doing so well I want to add something, if may, if I may, uh, you know. Oh sure, that, uh, sure, ma'am, sure. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. 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 He, you know the male character, Gurpreet. You know, firstly, you've chosen a Sikh gentleman, which is quite unusual in novels that you would have a, uh, you know, an intercaste marriage and there's a sadhaji. 
But what is what actually struck me is that you see this gentleman, Gurpreet, loves her so much, cares so much for her. But at a certain moment, he lets her down. And she remembers that moment of him letting her down and letting her marry this scoundrel and letting her go. And I think two or three times, in there, Neelam, you have shown her, uh, you know, every time she remembers him with love, she also remembers that this man lacked courage. You know, and so uh, we have to look at Gurpreet, uh, if we analyze him, uh, he's a wonderful character, but he lacks courage. And that is the reason that uh, when her friends are pressurizing her to marry him and do this, you know, when she returns from Paris for the wedding, I think Reshma's uh, wedding, is that the right name, Reshma's wedding, that she does not fall for that because she remembers that moment of loss of courage and most of her troubles begin with that. Begin because this man has let her down. It is not the other fellow, the other fellow is a scoundrel. He's anyway a scoundrel. But good people, kind people, many times let you down so badly that it works. But she goes away, and that also I admire that you put that, because I'm glad that you gave a happy ending, because these days we're all so sad. And, and you know, uh, so she goes away, and that is her choice, and she returns, it is her choice. Yes, yes. That's what I wanted to emphasize also that uh, a woman should have her choice what to do and what not to do uh you know i want to add there yeah. you know i yeah. just want to add one thing that in yeah. terms of like yeah you know in uh, general takeaways uh something which i feel many women deprive themselves despite the access today is the need for financial literacy and legal literacy so you know that is something which in this entire story you know, again came emerged as like very, very strong points where this character, despite the fact that, you know, she actually had their taxes. But, you know, because of like, you know, the stereotypes, the notion that, you know, why should I ask about the finances, the business and, you know, so yeah. it's more of that, like, yeah, you know, that taboo, that old conditioning, that gender stereotype, so to say, that women, girls are not really supposed to engage in these subjects. So again, like, yeah, you know, this is something which, you know, has been brought out uh, as a felt need, you know, in terms of like, yeah, you know, how much a suffering can be if you don't engage yourself. Yeah. One of the things which I wanted people to learn through fiction. <laughs> I keep telling this, but you know, sometimes like when we were uh, kids, you uh, we all must have been told stories by our uh, mothers or fathers, maybe. Mm, uh, so why they were told in that way? So that we never forget. So uh, that Yes. And the other thing in terms of the karmic thread, I also felt that here, this uncle, you know, or aunt who have like, you know, done all kinds of nasty things for the sake of their own children. And then the children desert them, right? I mean, they yeah. kind of renounce them. So that's kind of another <laughs> like karmic thread, apart from like, yeah, you know, the other things that we go through. It was very, very clear case of like, yeah, you know, I mean, what you sow, you reap, right? Yes, yes. And I think the first chapter of any any book, you know, determines what's going to happen. And the fact that Paris is actually, I've been to Paris and it's a city of love. The first thing you see is couples kissing and, you know, people are, you know, it's, a, it's a really a paradise for lovers. It is there that she loses love. It is there that she has this loss. So this contrast is tremendous. You know, it's incredible. And yeah, when... If I was a movie maker, I, I would make a film out. I, I can make a film out of your book. If I was a movie maker, but you have a friend, you have millions who can do it for you. <laughs> when I started uh, writing, I was remembering this place, Trocadro, where actually I was seeing people kissing and all for the first time, so openly. So, like, uh, uh, I wanted the contrast to come out very strongly. Yes. 
that everybody is done a great job done a great job hmm <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Neelam? How long did you take to write it? Sure, sure, Rupali ji. I'm not she's able asking, to. She's asking how long it took you to write this book. This must have taken eight to ten months. Actually, it all depends upon what what kind of posting I am in, which Rashmi will understand. <laughs> <laughs> because there are certain postings in which you don't get uh, even 15 minutes and there are certain postings in which you get a lot of time so there was one novel can i have this chance which i wrote in 2 months but this one took 8 to 10 months but you still ma'am uh, those who know you as a writer they always appreciate uh, your time management and how you come up with so many books in a <laughs> like i think three to four books always come from your side yeah i uh, yeah you know why for seven or eight manuscripts ready but uh, i have decided that i'll uh, you know come out with only three to four books a year that's really wonderful uh, rashmi ma'am or milan sir do you want to ask anything from nilam ma'am okay. any questions from you uh, so i just uh, instead of asking i would say that i, I definitely would like to finish the novel and uh, definitely would look that uh, you know uh, it could be converted into a film and it will be really wonderful you know this story uh, even if not film as a web series probably you know uh, you know kind of because web series gives a bigger you know a longer and deeper canvas so i i find many times film do, don't do the justice with novel because in a two hours it is very difficult to you know justify the novel a lot of thing has to be omitted out you know and only essential remain but a novel like uh, this one which has so much of emotion so much of twist turn so many characters there and you know issues like the and uh, in fact uh, the way uh, rupali ji and rashmi ji has now explained you know uh, the various aspects also uh to get them into this uh, perspective uh, correct perspective on the screen uh, definitely require the bigger uh, and longer canvases so probably yeah uh, it could be a very interesting idea uh, you know uh, uh, but the, i have to also warn that uh, you know uh, the this structures of the film or the uh or film or the, now the web series i consider as a film only because the structure so a lot of times uh, we have to change a uh, bit uh, some part of the novel in 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 the favor of uh you know uh the narrative you know uh, the whole uh, the essentiality of the novel and we may change structures and uh, uh, things that we have happened in the uh, in the past also when, because i made uh, at least three films uh, based on the novel so uh that's the reason that uh, you know this would be the uh, wonderful film uh, only thing is that you know uh, it has to be adopted huh? so nilam let's look forward that you know uh, bring uh, this uh, on the bigger screen or, or the wide for the wider audience the oh, wow. that would yeah. be so wonderful and i would be so amazed and thrilled and everything <laughs> yes, yes. and i can play the chachi's role it looks like role has been sold out oh my god you are getting <laughs> actors as well <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally sold out now okay so i'll i cross that okay, i'll keep it okay. all other roles are available <laughs> yeah so it would be very useful to have a film like you know around uh, this where again as i said that so many issues which affect women and so many women you know i mean starting from like yeah, even dowry in camouflage forms because you see like uh, yeah you know dowry taking various you know shapes and sizes and modes and like yeah, you know the uh, in today's world so you know all that needs to seep in more so i think it that would be very useful the other thing which i wanted to ask neelam ji about is you know have you also considered that yeah you know what uh as a takeaway for many women out there you know whom we want that they should know that such things are happening 
so some things which also kind of gives them the right tools and instruments say mental health you know mental health is itself an issue today huge issue maybe you might want to write separately uh, you know, about that up to announce that my next novel is based on um, uh, one such issue only okay I'm i think that would be very useful that would be very useful again because you know probably not all women are as strong a character as what monica ultimately emerges out to be yeah so you know many who are who just break down so you know one is writing about it and the other is like you know actually being able to canalize you know some kind of a support system you know yes. to such women where they can reach out to so yes. Yes. I just, I, mean, I just, yes, to, yes. sorry, sorry to interrupt. This is a very important thing, mental health. And today I read a news, you know, that a dentist. You know, you can see that she's a dentist, you know, and she's in a bad mental uh, situation. Despite she's a dentist, that she threw her four-year-old son to the balcony and fell from the balcony and died. And she also tried to commit suicide. Now this is something so shocking from such a highly educated, you know. a uh, lady was a dentist and uh, what she did to her own son and then to herself i mean there is something which is of a great intrigue uh, nilam you know uh, the same thing rashmi ji saying uh, don't this mental health is a huge problem and some times they are so hidden they are so unnoticed that till the accident happens nobody really realize and they just think oh she is a, a short tempered she is angry she is frustrated but i think there is a much deeper at a much much yes. urgent need is uh, you know there which we have to you know identify and address very well said very well said it was really very interesting uh, session uh, and uh, i think we kiss her is off the screen <laughs> so neela ma'am do you have anything to tell us more about your book or anything any message you would like to tell to readers Uh, sorry uh, uh, just i uh, one i to leave yes, because yes yes please i have to so th please thank you so much everyone and all the best nilam and it is nice meeting rashmi ji and rupal ji some day we'll definitely have a get together here uh, in uh, now nilam nila is in mumbai so let's have you know some kind of get together there share the thing and i i, I if i happen to be for shooting in uh, uh, masuri i will definitely uh, meet you up uh, No, not just yeah. masuri jammu and kashmir also oh, because currently oh, i'm great. otherwise yeah. <laughs> great, great, so, so great uh, it will great pleasure and thank you seema thank you rupali ji thank you so much and thank, thank you thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much bye bye thank you so much bye bye and all bye. the best again you know i'm sure that the book is going to you know uh, find many many readers across <laughs> yes yeah, right. thank, thank you thank you thank you so much bye simaji bye yeah. uh, thank, uh, you so much, thank you so much everyone thank you it's an thank honor you. to have you all uh, here and having this wonderful discussion rashmi ma'am and rupali ma'am Uh, it was really wonderful and uh, you people have shown us like you know you have given your thoughts and i'm so glad that uh, i met you here and uh, neela ma'am many many best wishes and uh, as we all know that book is really doing well and i would like to tell all the readers that book is available at amazon and it's also at all the leading bookstores of india so you can find the book anywhere so please read and review it uh, neela ma'am anything you would like to tell wow yeah, i was impressed you know in the uncle you know the way the uncle dies i think that is part of the karma you know the karmic thread the uncle's death is a big this thing of uh, you know if you lead a wicked life and the greed you know which our society has become extremely greedy with property and stuff like that there's a lot of greed in this book and the kind of karma even that um, uh, man what's his name the husband uh, who cheats her what's his name uh, tanish huh? tanish yes yeah. he has a wonderful name tanish can he takes it to the tanish uh, uh, this thing uh, dukan to buy diamonds and he gets arrested in the aircraft 
No, this, this sounds like unbelievable, but the, I've seen things like that happen. You know, I mean, they, they really happen. I've yeah. seen them happening in airports and various places like that. So the karmic threads, I think, uh, does uh, tell you, you know, ki, uh, you know, you do this kind of uh, stuff and what kind of death you will have, what kind of a life you will have. You can't escape it. So the, I think it's, uh, it's a wonderful book, Freedom, and congratulations again. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to read your book and also talk about it, you know. It's been quite some time since I really talked about the book, you know. And it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rupaliji, Rashmi, Melind, who is not there uh, right now, and Seema. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you, Seema. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being Thank you so much. Thank you.